All right, this is Philly Bo, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten vocal tips for you guys, and let's dive right into this shit. The first tip warm up. It's very, very simple. It is very obvious, too. I use the Melissa Cross Zen of Screaming. I do the baritone part of her warm up because I kind of have a little bit of a lower voice, and that's just what my range is. And I highly recommend it, and I know a lot of you have probably heard of it, but I didn't really believe in it at first, but then I really gave it a shot and tried it. I can't do vocals without it. If I go on stage and I perform and I have not warmed up, I will feel it after the show and the next day. So please warm up. Zen of Screaming, Melissa Cross, check it out. The second tip, learn your range. Please don't come into this thinking that you're just going to be some ridiculous beast metal vocalist. Just learn your range. Learn what you can do. Everyone's different. Not everyone is meant to do guttural stuff or high pitch stuff. You know, some of you might be able to. You can learn how to do it, but you need to learn what notes you can hit and what your voice is not capable of doing because you don't want to try and just squeeze it out. And then you're just going to hurt yourself. So learn your range, take it slow, and just find out what notes you can hit. All right, the third tip I've got for you guys, it's obvious too, practice. Practice makes perfect, and that goes with anything. It, it applies with vocals too. And one tip I can give you for that is to just listen to bands that you really like. Listen to bands that you would like to sound like. Listen to dudes that you'd like to sound like. If you want to sound like me, listen to us. If you want to sound like Cannibal Corpse, listen to George Corpse Grinder. Or if you want to sound like Corey Taylor, listen to Slipknot. It's obvious. Just do what you are interested in and see what kind of ranges you can hit. But like I said before, don't stress yourself to hit those notes because you're not going to sound just like someone that you really want to, that you really enjoy listening to. You're not going to sound like them. Some, some people might be able to mimic it, but at the end of the day, you're going to sound how your voice is going to allow you to sound. All right, number four, don't overdo it. And I can't stress this one enough. I made the mistake early when I started doing vocals and I started screaming. I was just overdoing it. I was screaming for hours and hours. And by the end of it, my throat just felt raw. It felt like sandpaper had been rubbed inside of my throat. And it's not fun. You do not want to do that over an extended period of time because you are just going to hurt yourself and it's going to suck for you. Trust me, do not do that. Just, just take it easy. Don't overdo it. If you start feeling a little bit of pain in your throat, just back off a little bit. Maybe wait a couple hours. Maybe even wait another day. Honestly, if you're just starting, I would wait a, I'd wait a day or maybe even two days to give it another shot and just gradually work yourself into it. All right, number five, rest your voice. And this applies with the last one. Just whenever you are feeling uncomfortable and things just aren't sounding right, your voice is cracking, your throat's hurting, just rest. And sometimes, like I said, it could take two to three days to, before you feel comfortable again. Honestly, still to this day, after tour, my voice isn't at 100% for another maybe two weeks. It takes about two weeks for me to come home from tour and feel like I haven't been doing any screaming because honestly, our voices aren't meant to do this. Just remember that. Your voice is not meant to do this. But we as humans, we have to do shit to... Uh, keep ourselves entertained and uh, this is one of the things that entertains me and it entertains a lot of you guys considering that you listen to Whitechapel or any kind of metal. So like I said, rest your voice and just take it easy. Number six, have confidence. And what I mean by that is go in there just knowing you can do it, not thinking you can do it, knowing you can do it. Whenever I step on stage, I know, I say to myself, I'm, you're going to sound like a beast, you're going to get up there and you're going to make these people's jaws hit the floor, you're going to make them go crazy, and that is a big part of doing vocals, is that having that confidence to know that you can project these sounds. Don't go up there like a wimpy little kid, just like, oh, okay, uh, alright, I guess I'm going to scream a little bit, okay. Don't do that shit. Don't do that shit, I'm telling you. Go up there and just be like, I'm a fucking beast, I'm going to nail this shit, you guys are going to fucking shit your pants. <laughs> All right, number seven, challenge yourself. And this kind of is a little bit tricky. Um, I, when I told you earlier, don't overdo it, don't stress yourself, and don't and try to learn your range. 
try to learn what you're capable of doing. But at the same time, you do want to maybe kind of train yourself. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. If you've never heard the band, go listen to Cattle Decapitation. Travis from Cattle Decapitation does the craziest sounds I've ever heard. That guy, and even li it's even crazier live. If you can watch a live video of Travis from Cattle Decapitation, watch it. You can YouTube it, Google it, whatever you want to do. Watch a video of that guy. He makes crazy fucking sounds. And that's what I want you to do. I, I, not what he does, but I want you to challenge yourself. Don't just think, oh, I'm just going to do low gutturals, or I'm going to do high-pitched streaks, or I'm going to do mid-range vocals. Don't limit yourself to gutturals, mid-range, and high-pitched screams. Do crazy shit. Do something original. That's what people want to hear. They don't want to hear the same washed up shit over and over again. And, you know, like I said, I don't I don't really think I'm an original vocalist. I just do what I feel like I think is cool. And one thing I really like to do is I like to scream fast. I just, I just love that shit. I love hip hop and stuff like that. And that's one thing I've tried to challenge myself to do is scream fast. And that's what I want you to do. Just challenge yourself. Do stuff that you don't feel like you would be, ever be able to do because you can. I'm telling you, you can do that shit. Just put your mind to it. You can do fucking anything. All right, number eight, use mouth movements. And by that, I mean use your tongue, your cheeks, just any kind of like, don't, it doesn't matter how stupid you look. You have to do what you have to do to make these sounds. Whenever I do low vocals, this is what I'm doing right here. If you can see, I have my tongue touching the roof of my mouth and a lot of you have probably actually seen people doing that and honestly that's that's a really good method to get a lower tone in your voice I don't know the scientific explanation of why that is the way that it is but that is the way that it is for me anyway and um, a lot of other things that I like to do if I'm doing low vocals is I kinda like to crunch kinda you know kinda like if you're doing a crunch or a setup or something just kinda like flex your stomach and that's where a lot of my power comes from is my diaphragm. This could be a controversial thing too. Like I don't I, I don't personally like it. There's some vocalists that do it and they sound great and I don't know if they've ever had trouble, but I personally do not like inhaled vocals. I do not inhale my vocals. I do all outward vocals. For any of you that have wondered, I have a lot of people that ask me that. Inhaled vocals, sometimes they can sound pretty cool, but I personally like the outward, just projected vocal. It just sounds a lot more emotional, it sounds more pissed off, it sounds more full and thick. And honestly, if you guys do inhales, that's that's you. I mean, like I said, everyone is different. I'm not, at, I'm not telling you to do a certain type of vocal or tell you to do a certain way. All right, number nine, use different body positions. And by that, I mean maybe tilt your neck a little bit. Maybe kind of hunch over a little bit. Maybe you need to lean back a little bit. If a lot of you noticed in some of the videos that we've posted up of me doing vocals in the studio, I like to hunch over. I like to put my foot on a chair. And some people will laugh and, you know, yeah, it looks kind of funny, but it works. That's what works for me. It makes me feel comfortable. It puts me in a comfort zone. One thing that I like to do whenever I do lower vocals, kind of like the guttural type of vocals, is I like to tilt my neck just a little bit. Because for some reason, it gives me, it, it feels like it opens up some sort of passage or it keeps it from choking up in my throat and it allows it to just flow out just naturally and feel more comfortable and just without any kind of breakage in my voice. Number 10, stay hydrated. When you're doing vocals, you need to have a bottle of water or whatever it is that helps you coat your throat. You know, because if you're screaming and your fucking throat is a desert, you're going to feel that shit. That's why a lot of people have water bottles on stage because whenever they're screaming, it is just like the moisture is just pouring out and it's drying up. And that's basically what you're doing is you're just drying out your throat and you're pushing all the mucus and the moisture out of your, I don't, I'm not a fucking doctor, but I know for a fact that mucus and all that stuff is being excreted out in your throat and it's either going down into your gastrointestinal system or it's coming out of your mouth, you're spitting it out or whatever. One thing that I like to do, and I'm not recommending this, but I drink usually a, not warm, but a little chilled Coke or Sprite or anything that has like syrupy kind of stuff in it. A lot of people say that's bad for me or people say that it's you're not supposed to drink that because it's got sugar and it's going to dry your throat out. Well, it doesn't for me. It actually helps me. Stay hydrated. Drink water. Drink warm Coke if you want to try that. Some people say milk works, but stay hydrated. Keep your throat wet. 
If it's dry, you're going to sound like shit. All right, guys, I know a lot of these tips seem like common sense, but you would be surprised on how many people do not take a lot of this stuff into consideration. And it's okay, though. I mean, we're all fucking human. We all just get ahead of ourselves and stuff like that. But try this stuff out. If it doesn't work for you, I'm sorry. But honestly, I'm kind of almost 100% guaranteed that it will. And thanks, guys, very much for watching. Uh, pretty soon, I will be trying to get you out a video of me doing raw, unedited vocals of any sort. Uh, just me pretty much screaming straight into the microphone and letting you hear it. Uh, I just have to get into a uh, studio setting. I probably have to go over to Alex's house and uh, set up a microphone and a camera and stuff like that because I don't want it to just be some bullshit quality. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Also, one more thing for all you gearheads out there, my boy Alex Wade has started up a channel, and he's going to be doing playthroughs of our songs. He's going to be showing you his gear and doing gear demos and stuff like that. So click the annotation on the screen and go subscribe to his channel. He doesn't have any videos up right now, but they are coming soon, I promise. So go subscribe, bitches.